The movie opens with a girl named Lucy driving her car in the middle of a deserted road. She stops at a gas station to put gas in her car, but the payment machine doesn't work. So she goes to the store at the gas station to talk to the worker. But it's closed and no one is there. Sadly, she goes back to her car and sees that the door is open. She's surprised and looks around. And then a girl comes up to her and asks for help me. Now the scene shifts nine days in time when we are introduced to a couple, Charlie and Aiden driving in a deserted area to attend Charlie's dad's service function. Charlie misses her dad a lot because he took care of her after her mom passed away. She also feels guilty for leaving him alone in his last days. Aiden comforts her by saying she's a good daughter and has made her dad proud by getting a job in California. After a while, 8 inches electric car's battery gets low so they stop at a gas station to charge it. While Aiden looks for a charger, Charlie goes into the store to buy snacks and drinks inside a guy named Jake, who's dressed like a cowboy, comes up to her and tries to flirt. Even pays for her stuff and says goodbye. Luckily, Aiden comes back in time and takes her away. He tries to give Jake back the money, but Jake doesn't take it and just tells Aiden to take care of Charlie saying she's a great catch. Both Aiden and Charlie feel uneasy about the situation and decide to leave the gas station as soon as possible and continue their journey. But bad luck strikes again. Their electric car runs out of battery in the middle of a dirt road and they are still 30 miles from Charlie's dad's funeral spot. To make things worse, there's no cell phone signal to call for help. Just then, another car comes by. But despite Charlie's efforts to ask for help, the driver doesn't stop and drives away in this hence situation, Aiden tries to change the subject and brings up Charlie's father's upcoming memorial service at Eagle Lake. They share a kiss and just then a middle-aged woman named Pamela arrives in her car. Aiden manages to flag her down and Pamela gets out to talk to the couple. She asks them about their problem, and Charlie explains that their car ran out of battery in the middle of nowhere and that they can't get a phone signal to call for help hearing this, Pamela offers her assistance and quickly uses her walkie-talkie to call a mechanic Owen, who lives nearby. She also invites Charlie and Aiden to have breakfast and live their spirits. At first, both Aiden and Charlie declined the offer, but later, Aiden suggests that Charlie go with Pamela to get breakfast while he waits for the mechanic. Our girl then agrees and hops into Pamela car. During the car ride, Pamela asks Charlie where she is headed and if she has family, the letter tells her about her father's memorial service and shares details about her relationship with Aiden. Pamela, in turn, opens up about her own tragic experience, revealing that her daughter passed away from cancer and had only a few days left after the diagnosis. Soon they arrive at Cactus Jack's restaurant and Charlie goes inside to buy some burritos for herself and Aiden expecting him to join her soon. However, she waits for over an hour and Aiden doesn't show up. Worried she tries to call him, but still can't get a phone signal. She even attempts to use a public phone and leaves a voicemail for him, asking him to call as soon as he receives the message. Following this, when Charlie returns to the restaurant, she finds Jake waiting for her at the table. Jake asks about Aiden, and when Charlie mentions he is on his way, Jake hints that her boyfriend might be in trouble and could be late. He also tries to make a move by holding Charlie's hand, but just before she reaches for her pepper spray, he lets go and laughs, explaining that he was just joking about everything he said earlier this. At the same time, Charlie spots a tow truck at the gas station and Aiden's car is on the back of it. She rushes outside and calls out for Aiden. Unfortunately, the tow truck driver, Owen tells her that the person she is looking for isn't with him and that he's all alone. He collects the payment for the towing and service takes note of her address and then leaves. When the driver mentions that Aiden left with someone, he knows, Charlie remembers Jack and hurries back into the restaurant. However, she finds that Jack has already left. She asks the waitress, but she informs Charlie that Jack left as soon as she went outside to talk to the tow truck driver. In the next scene, we see Charlie at the police station looking worried and asking Deputy Graham for help. She suggests that something might have happened to Aiden, but Graham seems skeptical and asks if they had a recent argument. Charlie keeps urging the officer to investigate Jack, but he refuses, believing Jack is a good guy with no history of harming anyone. Next, Deputy Graham takes Charlie to the spot where she last saw Aiden, but at present he is not therein. However, Charlie finds Aiden's earbuds on the ground and she thinks he might be close by. She follows a sound and heads towards some bushes in the distance. 
She sees a deer and remembers her father teaching her how to approach it quietly to take a candid picture and remembers. Her focus on the deer is interrupted by a gunshot. The police officer warns her that it's a hunting area and they could get shot. Despite his warning, Charlie refuses to give up and goes into a nearby hunter's RV to look for Aiden. Unfortunately, she doesn't find him there and has to obey the officer's orders. Afterward, Charlie sits inside Cactus Jack's restaurant, anxiously waiting for news about Aiden, but she receives no updates. Frustrated and desperate, she leaves to seek help from someone else and, to her dismay, she runs into Jake again, accusing him of harming Aiden. Jake denies any involvement and insists he is there to help her. But Charlie doesn't believe him and keeps pressing the same question about Aiden. Annoyed, Jake leaves her at the gas station and walks away. Just then, Pamela appears and asks Charlie if Jake is bothering her before Charlie can respond. Pamela unexpectedly hits her hard on the head, knocking her unconscious. After a while, Charlie regains consciousness and realizes she's at Pamela's place. She learns that Pamela is the one who has been holding Aiden captive. It's also revealed that the tow truck driver from earlier Owen is Pamela's son and this was all planned. Charlie asks them why they're doing this. And Pamela explains that she's demanding $1.5 million for Aiden's relief son. Charlie says she doesn't have that much money in her bank account, but Pamela reminds her about her late father's trust and suggests transferring the money directly from his account with no other choice. Charlie agrees, but pretends that her phone signal is in working and proposes they go to an internet cafe to make the transfer obeying her words. Pamela takes Charlie to the nearby internet cafe and lets her go in alone. Warning her not to try anything sneaky and mentioning that she's watching closely inside. Charlie first tries to call 911 but receives an anonymous message, warning her not to attempt anything tricky to me and. Reluctantly, she transfers the money and leaves the internet cafe outside. Pamela picks her up and allows Charlie to speak to Aiden on the phone, assuring her that he is safe. After the call, they get back in the car and start driving along the way. Charlie fabricates an urgent need to use the bathroom and persuades Pamela to stop at a gas station, seizing the opportunity. Charlie uses pepper spray and takes the car from Pamela, leaving her behind at the gas station. She then heads straight to the police station to talk to Deputy Graham and report the incident, hoping to file a case against Pamela. Unfortunately, Graham doesn't believe her story and takes her situation lightly. Suddenly, the sheriff arrives at the police station. And shockingly, the sheriff is Pamela herself. She asks Deputy Graham to leave her office and confronts Charlie about her earlier escape from the gas station. This startles Charlie and she bolts from the station. Pamela tries to chase her, but is stopped by Graham. The sheriff then tries to convince Graham that Charlie has a mental disability and needs to be apprehended next. Pamela is seen in the forest using the sun as her guide, just as her father taught her to find her way. She eventually arrives at Pamela's house and notices Owen outside. After a while, Pamela returns home and expresses her worry about Charlie escaping from the station when they enter the house, Charlie secretly follows them and desperately searches for Aiden. To her shock, she finds Aiden working with them, and it's revealed that he's the true mastermind behind the scheme to make Charlie transfer $1.5 million to his bank account. He explains that he did all this because he didn't want to lose her trust. Charlie, realizing the true nature of her supposedly caring boyfriend, remains silent and cries. Suddenly, Charlie accidentally makes a noise, alerting the group. Owen checks and sees Charlie escaping through the door. Pamela suggests Satan go after her and talk to her. In the next scene, Charlie hides in the garage and Aiden finds her. He attempts to justify his actions, explaining that he did everything to save his tech business and maintain his relationship with investors. However, Charlie is in no mood to listen and refuses to believe his words. Aiden brings up Charlie's father and claims she never loved him in the first place of the first. This infuriates Charlie and she punches him in the face, knocking him down and she also releases a gearbox on his chest and makes her getaway. Afterward, when Owen and Pamela can't find Charlie, they shoot and kill Aiden. Following these events, Charlie goes to the police station and talks to Deputy Graham, explaining the entire situation and revealing that her own fiancé is the mastermind behind everything. She also tries to convince the deputy that his superior is involved. But Graham remains skeptical outside the interrogation room, 
Deputy Graham meets Sheriff Pamela and asks if her son is connected to Aiden's abduction and Charlie's trouble. Unfortunately, Owen appears and knocks the deputy unconscious before entering the interrogation room. Fortunately, Charlie has already escaped before Owen and the sheriff enter the room. The scene then returns to the beginning of the movie, where Charlie approaches Pamela for help, however, Pamela shows no interest and drives away desperate to escape. Charlie goes to an internet cafe, finds it closed and breaks the glass to get inside inside. She attempts to call 9, 1, 1 and 1. But the call is intercepted by Sheriff Pamela, who cuts it short. Jake enters the cafe and they hear a gunshot. As Owen approaches the two hide in the kitchen, switching places just in time to avoid Owen's detection. Surprising him, Charlie appears and strikes Owen with a metal box, knocking him down. She also confronts Pamela and manages to overpower her before running out of the cafe. In the next scene, Charlie hides in a junkyard with Pamela in pursuit. Armed with a knife, Charlie recalls her father's advice, takes deep breaths and focuses on her escape. However, Pamela eventually spots her in a chase and soothes. Charlie pushes Pamela, causing a large container to fall on her. Our girl attempts to help, but another junk car falls, crushing Pamela and ending her life. Afterward, Charlie is in the hospital receiving treatment. Deputy Graham approaches her and provides updates on the case. He informs her that Owen is in custody and offers to drive her to Eagle Lake for her father's tribute club. However, Charlie declines, stating that she wants to do this on her own for her father. In the final scene, Charlie arrives at Eagle Lake and carries out various ceremonies for her father's funeral. The movie then ends with an emotional Charlie reminiscing about her father while looking through her old